making it happen in Hollywood at the Showbiz Expo Los Angeles Convention Center. Bienvenidos sean todos. My name is Don Page Galindo. I'm a publicist and I'm also a former journalist entertainment. We have Diana Lesmes desde Colombia. Arriba Colombia. <laughs> Directamente desde la Isla del Encanto, a Johnny Ray Rodríguez. Bravo. Y desde Cuba, Mailen Calienes. And we have Mexican-American actor desde Texas. Él es Adrián Quiñones. Adrián Quiñones has worked extensively in all the networks. I'll let each of my panelists talk a little bit about their beginnings and how they got here to Hollywood to pursue their goals, their dreams. Bienvenidos. And now I'm really on my own independent, which is my ultimate goal to produce. And I'm working on a feature film right now called Flights of Fancy. Check it out. It's flightsoffancythemovie.com. And that's really where I'm at right now. I'm working on that. I'm working on web series. I've gotten completely in the last year into new media. One last thing that I'll mention is that the one thing that I've done throughout my entire career is I've always stayed current with the trends. Definitely something to keep in mind. Always stay current. You can only go so you can only go so far in Puerto Rico. I mean, I was a performer, a list, whatever you want to call it. But the island only has like four million people. I mean, I always wanted to be an actor here in Hollywood ever since I was a kid. The movies, musicals, because I love all that stuff. Um, I could have gone to Mexico. I could have gone to Spain, where most of my friends do go because of the language barrier. But I speak English, I'm fluent, you know? I understand the culture, I understand the people here. Okay, so, I got all this background, I did this, I did that, I did this, knock on doors, and then, they don't give a shit here, they don't care. Um, it, 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 mm -hmm. You have to find your own niche, you have to start from the beginning all over again. So knocking on doors and waiting for, you know, the uh, agent to call you for a casting, for an audition, for something, uh, it's tedious, it's tiring, and you say, okay, enough is enough. And a lot of casting directors do tell you, do your own thing. Put your own stuff. Put your stuff out there. Put it on the internet. We got that now. We could put so much stuff on there. Right now, I'm in, uh, we're in production for a movie called The Three Bilinguals. I should explain a little bit more about that. Vamos a escuchar un poco más de Mailen Calienes from Cuba. So tell us a little bit about your beginning. Um, I learned from watching movies and um, by working behind the cameras and making my own movies. And I'm the type of person that I cannot wait around and sit around waiting for that phone calls for somebody to call me. So I put myself out there by creating my own films. And I'm working on a new project that I'm very excited about because it's, it's very diverse. And we have different cultures, not only different Latino cultures in that project, we have a diversity of cultures, which is very exciting. And it's called The Three Bilinguals. And that's the project m that me and Johnny Ray are working together. And we will talk more about that a little bit later on. Thank you. I've been acting for about 13 years. Um, but I've been here, like I said, about five and a half years. And yes, I've worked in um, shows like CSI New York, uh, Bones, um, Brothers and Sisters. I've done um, soap operas and whatnot. And so I've been blessed. I've worked hard, um, worked very hard. I uh, got a manager about a month after I got here to LA, and I just been pounding the pavement, you know, doing what we need to do to get ahead and uh, staying current with the trends. Absolutely. Can you share a challenge that you overcame at work, maybe at a at a company or with the production you were currently working on, and just a challenge or an anecdote, a positive anecdote, whatever you want to share that has given you kind of <coughs> the inspiration to keep going? I think actually the, the greatest challenge that I've had is that in the last five years I've been on my own completely. And when you have a lot of time or when you have a lot of, uh, you rely on yourself, um, I think the thing that I had to really commit to was that I was going to work as hard, if not harder, for myself than I did for anybody. My challenge has been to be able to get into the Latino market here is to be able to speak what they call the neutral Spanish here, which is, uh, for me, it's like ridiculous because not everyone speaks the same way because even in the Mexican population, people speak differently in that. So when they try to convince me to speak that neutral Spanish, it's just speaking a little slower and speaking with a little Mexican twinge to it. And then when I do that, because I do voiceovers in Spanish, believe it or not, um, and I do commercials in Spanish, that when they hear me, people say, you're either from Cuba or you're from Mexico. So I think I've been able to, you know, uh, handle that situation. Now it's difficult because me, as being a Puerto Rican, I'm so proud to be Puerto Rican, I says, wait a minute, but now I'm speaking like a Mexican. 
in Los Angeles, when I go back to Puerto Rico, all my friends make fun of me because I'm speaking like a Mexican to them. <laughs> Even though when I open my mouth here, everyone knows that I'm speaking Spanish from Puerto Rico. So that's been my challenge as an actor. Have I gone over that? Yeah, I mean, I want to work. Okay, so you put things aside, you work, and you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Do, 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 do. And then now, again, this is the reason why Mylin and I are making this movie that now she'll talk about. Just before I get to that, that to live here in this wonderful world of ho Hollywood, you have to have a body and a mind of steel mm -hmm. because you will be getting more no's mm -hmm. than yeses. And those no's make me stronger. And I hope they make you guys stronger too. Because if you came out here to do something, that means that you're passionate about what you want to do. Tienes mucha pasión, I have to say it in Spanish. <laughs> so um, make sure that you know, if you get lots of no's, because everybody up here has gotten lots of no's, right? And we've overcome those no's many, t no's many times, but we've gotten some great yeses, and they've been wonderful. And you keep moving and keep going, because you need to follow your heart, your passion. Keep going for your dreams, guys, okay? So it's really, really fun film. But the, the important thing for me was in this movie to cast a Mexican as a Mexican, Puerto Rican as a Puerto Rican, Cuban as a Cuban. Um, and this movie not only has these Latino cultures, I have other Latinos working in this film as well from other wonderful Latino cultures. I have white people working in this film. I have black people, Asian. So I have a diversity in this film. It's not like when you watch a movie and you go to a Latino movie made for Hollywood, everyone's Latino or a black movie made for Hollywood, everyone's black. This has diversity. We live in the United States of America. The biggest challenge for me, um, quite honestly, my family didn't speak a lot of Spanish to me. So to be quite honest, I don't speak a fluent Spanish, you know, and that's always been a problem for me is that, you know, when I go to castings and whatnot, I'm not Mexican enough, or obviously I'm not white. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's, that's been something that, that has been uh, kind of stood in my way and um, I just have to forge ahead. And even for people who have thick accents, you know, and to get all those no's, no, 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 no. Um, but to still, like I said, for, forge ahead. Okay, ready, go. I'm outside the Latinas Making It Happen in Hollywood panel, which was a total success here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Let's see what the audience members have to say. And uh, thank you so much. I came here to learn about how to uh, work with music and film and what are the strategies to kind of have your music placed in film. And it's a lot about uh, meeting the right people. And I think they were very um, helpful in giving me organizations of, um, who to, of where to go and find um, good contact. Thank you very much for coming here. Uh, it's so, such a pleasure for me. And I know for my son and my daughter who also want to get into this business, now you're a role model for them as well. Thank you so much for coming. And I'd like to see this grow even more and see more Latinos in the business come every year. How was this experience? Did you enjoy this panel? Oh, it was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Don, because I think that you opened up a new world, a new, um, a new thing for like the Latino community here tonight, but not only Latinos, we didn't only have Latinos here visiting us, we had people from different cultures that I think learned a little bit about everything, because really, we all go through the same thing here in Hollywood. Latinos rocking Hollywood!